Okay, there we go. What's up you guys? So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you um, how to use a digital multimeter. All right, so this is one that I got on Amazon for, I don't know, it was like $15, $20, it's pretty cheap. And when I first got it, I had never used one. So I was like, all right, well, how, what, what am I gonna do with this? Now, what I, what I wanted it for was um, testing the, um, uh, the electrical current and figuring out which wires are hot in the dashboard and also checking to see whether or not my battery was working and to see whether or not the alternator was working. So it's for a couple different things. Now, uh, this has, um, we've got the two leads coming out of it. One is um, for the ground and one is for uh, the hot, uh, positive or negative. And then I'm gonna switch this to the first spot up right here, which is um, the volts. All right, now this, uh, I'm gonna come over here and connect this to, the battery of this car, and uh, this is a 12 volt battery, it's for a car. So with the positive, I'm gonna put that on the positive terminal right there. Um, and actually you should probably do the negative first, but in any case, um, I'm gonna put the negative, I'm just gonna put it in there. So now what we wanna do is we wanna to refer to the multimeter, and this is reading 12.49, uh, uh, right? So that's how many volts the battery is putting out right now. And you know this is an easy way. Obviously, that confirms that the battery's got power. Now, if I go up to the dashboard on this car, um, I can connect this to um, the battery lead. So this is the this is the dashboard. Obviously, it's a little bit of a work in progress. So this is exactly what I needed this for. All right. So let me position the camera here. Okay. So. Now the battery has a, um, or the ignition has a hot line that comes straight off the battery that's always hot. So if I wanna to try to figure out, okay, well, which one is hot, what I can do is I can ground this, and um, there's a couple different grounds in here, but I can also ground it right here. And then as I reach in here, I can try to grab or pin on to the wire that I think is uh, the hot wire. So I've got one, um, I believe it's, let's see, this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna grab onto that. And this is on the ground. So now right here, I'm getting, t again, 12.49. So that tells me this is hot, all right? So this is just the easiest way that, I mean, and again, there's, there's a bunch of settings on here that I'm not using, but this for me is what I'm using for the car battery to see whether or not uh, I have a, a wire that's hot. And then in my next video, I'm gonna talk about how to make sure your alternator is working. And that's where this uh, really comes in handy. Cause you can tell if a, if a wire is hot. Um, there's another way that I'll, I'll show you real quick, um, which, which I was doing quite a bit of. So this is a hot wire. Okay, and this right here is my left, uh, right directional. Oh, look at that, boom, I touch it. And they're, uh, actually this is for my four-way flasher. So I touch it and they're both lighting up. So that tells me very easily um, that I've got power. And uh, you know that, that was working in, in my scenario. So just tapping those two together. Okay, that's a hot wire. Okay, that's what this goes to. Because when I first started taking this car apart, I had uh, this old directional and windshield wiper up on the uh, steering column and I wanted to remove it. So I just started cutting wires and seeing, okay, well, what doesn't work anymore? And um, then I would connect that wire to my hot wire coming over here and I would just confirm, okay, yep, that is um, the directional and then just tag it and label it accordingly. All right, so quick video there on how to use a digital multimeter and hopefully that's helpful for you guys doing work uh, similar to me.